Hello everyone, this is Roland Bohol. Welcome to Champ TV. Roland Bohol will try to realize the dream of the late Gabriel Flas Elorde. Uh -huh. That of giving the Elordes another world champion after Guy, uh, Gabriel himself. Will he be able to do it? I think he will be able to pull an upset tonight. Well, you are not really talking out of your hat when you mention that this is a dream of Gabriel Flash Elorde because Rolando Bohol was a protege personally trained by the Flash himself before the Flash went to that great boxing arena in the sky two years ago. And Rolando Bohol, before the Flash died, was pegged by the great Elorde as a future world beater. Well, tonight he has come to the crossroads of a brilliant ring career. Tonight it's either the deepest portion of the valley or the peak of the mountain, if we want to be poetic about it. And incidentally, would you like to talk to that good-looking guy beside you, Mr. Pignon? Yes. All the girls have been going back about him since he made his entry. We have here with us uh, Mr. June Sarial, one of uh, the persons behind uh, this title beat of Rolando Ball. And uh, June will be giving us uh, some highlights of uh, Rolando Ball's career. Well, I think uh, this will be one of the hardest fights of the whole. Although I still believe that the whole has a pretty good chance because uh, the Korean has has weight problem. For the last three days, he's been trying to make this weight. But he made it. That will be one of the factors that uh, I think beholds uh, chance to win the title. Uh, just to set the record straight, he made the 100-pound limit of the yes. Games and Amusements Board way in this morning, yeah? Yes. Okay, and so the point will go on. Is it true, June, that uh, Chang Ho Choi will be moving up the junior bantamweight division, win or lose tonight? That is what uh, his uh, promoter, Mr. Ho Yun Chun, uh, told us uh, tonight, that uh, win or lose, he may have uh, his boy move to junior, well, junior bantamweight to fight uh, Galaxy of Thailand. Thank you very much, Mr. June Sarial, one of the persons behind the uh, Roland de Bohol's title bid. And here's Joe Contado once again. Well, actually, you were talking about June Sarial's contribution to putting together this fight. The guy who really moved heaven and earth to get uh, this fight, uh, or to turn this fight into a reality, is the Grand Patriarch of Philippine Boxing himself, the old man of uh, June Sarial, and that's Papa Lopez Sarial. Because Papa Lopez Sarial himself has had great faith in the ability of Rolando Bohol to rest the World Flyweight title from the Korea. Now to refresh your memory, on September 5 last year, Chang Ho Choi applied some very controversial tactics in stripping Cody Boy Peñanosa of the IBF World Flyweight crown. Now he did that via an 11th round knockout. Now this Korean is not exactly popular with Filipino fight fans because of the manner in which uh, he took the crown away from Peñalosa. Yes. Well, he has a chance to redeem himself tonight. Uh -huh. In the eighth round of that, uh, of that fight against Peñalosa, Chang Ho Choi hit uh, Dodi Boy with what appeared to be a headbutt that led to the closure of uh, Dodi Boy's uh, left eye and led to, the, to an 11th round knockout uh, loss by Peñalosa. Uh, tonight, Chang Ho Choi is going to erase that memory. It's, it's going to try to erase that memory, that uh, or rather the belief that he won his title by a fluke. You know, the referee in that fight came into a lot of flag because people sort of blame him for the way he officiated the fight. Now, I personally am not inclined to heap all the blame on the referee. But anyway, just to set your mind at ease, it's not going to be the same referee tonight. It's going to be a Hawaiian-based uh, uh, official who will act as the third man in the ring. His name is Abe Pacheco. Well, I'm sure you've run into Abe Pacheco in some of the international fights you've been seeing on television, especially with those fire satellites. Okay, into the ring comes Chang Ho Choi. And as we expected, he gets a big round of boost. Yes. Instead of an applause, he gets the boost. But this guy is unfazed. He doesn't give a damn about the people. All he cares about is winning a fight. And that's the kind of a stuff that makes for a champion gladiator, Mr. Pignol. Yes. Whether you like him or not. Mm -hmm. Chan Ho Choi displayed a lot of arrogance in the uh, press or media conference held at the Elordi Sports Complex only last Monday. He said he would rather die than lose to Rolando Bohol. <laughs> well, let's hope we're not going to have a funeral I think when the fight is over. Chan Ho Choi is going to use his uh, fighter roots advantage to the field tonight, Mr. Jokin.
Well, Rolando, behold, we'll be digging to that midsection of the Korean. Well, the Korean is three inches taller than Rolando Bohol, an advantage which could be turned into a disadvantage by Rolando Bohol, depending on how he fights this fight. And I know for a fact that his brain trust, Debut Elorde, and his own trainer, uh, Ding Camarela himself, a former world contender, uh, have worked out a very, very smart fight plan to cope with the advantage of the Korean in height as well as his vaunted right straight. Yes, if you would remember, Mr. Cantana, a few months ago, we pointed out that uh, Rolando Bohol uh, is is uh, vulnerable to that right straight, which is Chamo Choi's uh, most potent weapon. Uh, the handlers of Rolando Bohol tried to check that, and they were able to correct that. And they are they 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 uh, uh, have instructed Rolando Bohol to bob and weave, to bob and weave, and uh, uh, weave below the right straight of Chang Ho Choi and de uh, dig into the midsection. That's a snuffle tonight. Well, the popular feeling among those who were at ringside to watch the uh, press public preview held at the Loaded Sports Complex last Monday is that if the fight is going to go the distance, then Bohol should win it by decision. That but the that Korean will always have the capability to pull off a knockout at any time during the fight because of that strong right hand. Yes. My prediction, Mr. Cantat, at this point is that Bohol will win this fight by decision. Yes. I will be filling you in on more background information regarding these two fighters as we go along. Uh, okay, we'll give you the exact record of Chang Ho Choi right now. It's 14 and 2, which means uh, he has won 14 times and uh, lost twice by decision. He has scored 11 knockouts in those 14 victories. Uh, he wrestled the IBF final from Peñonosa, September 5 last year. I've said that already many times. Uh, he is fighting outside of Korea only for the second time. His first time to uh, fight outside of Korea was against Dodi Boy Peñonosa. And what a, a debut outside of Korea that was, of winning no less than a world championship right. in his first crack. You know, if we're talking of experience, Rolando Bohol is more experienced than uh, Chang Ho Choi. Because before he fought Pajalosa, he fought, uh, Chang Ho Choi only fought uh, twice as a uh, 10-round fighter. Uh, Rolando Bohol, on the other hand, has fought a lot of very, very difficult fights. Although these were against uh, uh, not so very popular fighters. Ironically, Mr. Pignol, although Bohol has had more experience than Chang Ho Choi, Choi is his senior by uh, two years because Rolando Bohol turned 21 only on Christmas Day last year. That's right, he was born on December 25 of 1966. Yes. While Chang Ho Choi was born February 10, 1964, which means that Choi is actually uh, two years older than uh, Rolando Bohol and Miss Herrera, I would appreciate it very much if you would warn me beforehand before turning the cameras on me. That way I can remove my spectacles. It makes me look like Mr. Scrooge all the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, to give you more highlights of Rolando Bohol's career, we'd like to mention uh, that among his most prominent victims are uh, Alan Makitoki, Manase Pase, and Prestino Simbahon. His last fight was a unanimous decision victory over Rod Tony of August 30 last year. We covered that at the Elonis Sports Complex. Yes, we did. And uh, another very interesting facet of Rolando Bohol is that he is a rarity among Filipino fighters in the sense that he is one of the very few we know who was able to finish high school and is now currently taking a free college courses. And yes. And he's planning to become a priest afterwards, or an engineer, uh, Joe. A priest? Yes. I also dreamed of becoming a priest at one time, and no, you will not believe that, Mr. Pignon. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. I have faith in you, my friend. <laughs> but anyway, Rolando Bohol has some great plans ahead of him. So whether or not he succeeds in taking the crown away from Chang Ho Choi tonight, uh, one thing is certain, this boy will certainly not wind up in uh, Paluka Alley. Yes, our cameras uh, 